Tactical Sam here and back in another video. In this video I'm gonna show you how image forensic analysis is done in cybersecurity. Today we're gonna use a simple GitHub tool, Katana Framework. So first just download it. Open the browser, type github.com, press enter. take some time yeah here it is now type in the search box katana framework and the power script it is the one just copy this and open terminal now Type CD desktop and then git clone paste it. Yeah, and exist. yeah I have already downloaded it so you will there will be a different step for you here to get installed and all after that just go to this katana framework file ls yeah now you have to do is type sudo sh and type this thing here copy it here and uh, just paste now it's going to install the packages and next thing you have to do is type sudo python install it's going to update my python if my python is not up to date yeah it's over now let's clear it type this now type dot slash and this file name over here git f dot console oh it needs my root so it Now let's try it again. Dot slash git here dot con so yeah now it's working. Now type show modules. There are a bunch of modules over here, but we are gonna use this forensic image analysis. So type uh, we have to type this thing over here but first type use and enf slash a dot engine yeah now type show options show options now here you can see the path file where the target is loaded so it's a test file which is already given by katana framework to do a test but we are gonna use some different file for this so let me go and grab some file wait a minute this file now now we will set target by typing set target and the file location from here paste it and yeah uh, type a uh, slash over there and just copy this one too just press enter 
now let us confirm if the target is changed or not sorry we have to type show option yeah it is now changed to the image file over here now type run now we have to type extract all to extract all the details about the image or we can even comment inside the image so now I'm gonna use this extract all press enter if you get the same error over here just do the one thing go to the file open files and yeah just extract it over here extract here even this one extract here and just close it now let's try it again extract all yeah now we got it uh, here he, it's gonna give us all the details about the pic or whatever you call it as image yeah here the file name is this and the directory file size and yeah it is the time when it was captured it's the date and the time see 10 a.m. in the morning it was captured this is the date when it was captured 9th April 2018 and it is a file note change date uh, when it was actually accessed so today's date it is you can check it out yeah 8th Feb 2020 the time is over there next thing we have to look is yeah it is showing us camera model name Nikon D5300 it is a camera which I have used to click that pic uh, and it's showing you the orientation it was captured horizontally in a normal way it will even show date and time yeah here it is when it was original time it is, uh, it is original time 9th 4 to 9th April 2018 then uh, yeah the flash it is it will also show the settings while capturing this image so it, while uh, I was cap while my friend was capturing this image it was in auto mode and did not fire the flash and the focal length of the lens uh, it was set to 78 mm millimeter as you know that stands for a millimeter the quality was normal and uh, what all we can find out here we can we can find that HDR is off and HDR level is auto kept in auto and you can even see the lenses uh, is used the distance of I mean the details of lens it was the lens was having 70 to 300 mm millimeter range and yeah shoot mode or single frame so that's all is over there the useful information is over there and uh, in few tools you can even see the date and time and even the location of the image captured it will show the exact location where the image was captured so and um, I will show in my further videos how you can even find that location and all so that's all for today thank you so much for watching and have a great day